Hey folks, Phantom Fish here. So you're trying to take a picture of a beautiful sunset and the clouds are red and orange and yellow but you just can't quite fit them all into the frame. Uh, or maybe you're trying to take a picture of uh, the Manhattan skyline and you can get some of the buildings but you can't get all of them. So in today's video what I'd like to do is show you how you can actually take uh, several pictures and take them all and stitch them together to make one beautiful panoramic shot. Okay, stay tuned, here we go. All right, folks, here we are. We're only 30 feet off the ground. Uh, you can actually probably still hear the drone. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this gimbal up, and there you can see me, and I am going to take a quick panoramic here of the neighborhood. Now, what's important is to maintain your current altitude. Um, otherwise, if there's too much fluctuation in the altitude, the stitching for the pictures becomes a little bit more and more difficult. Um, additionally, it's almost imperative that all of your shots are kind of at a um, perpendicular angle from where you are. So in other words, shooting straight out. If you tilt your gimbal down like this, and then as you're swiveling back and forth, as you can imagine, it becomes more difficult to stitch them together, but you're also gonna create a panoramic uh, shot that is almost oval in shape. So we're not gonna wanna do that. So. I'm gonna pan this up here and kind of shoot straight out. And now we wanna uh, work on identifying our overlap points. So this house over here that I'm gonna to point to the screen um, and change my exposure there, that is gonna be my first overlap point. So I wanna put that to the right hand side of the screen and snap a picture, just like that. Now I'm gonna swivel and I'm gonna put that on the left hand side of the screen. Okay, so just like this. And now you can also notice over there on the right hand side of the screen is that big tree. Okay, so that tree is going to be my next overlap point. I'm going to move that over to the left hand side of the screen. I change my exposure rating because that's a little annoying, a little washed out there. And take another shot. Okay, and uh, so we'll start with these three and see how it is, but I have created panoramic shots including like six pictures before so it's uh, it is very uh, very versatile software that can stitch all these things together and you can create some amazing shots all right so let's bring it down for now and I will uh, see if we can stitch these things together all right okay folks so the very next thing that you're gonna want to do is to pull your pictures off of your drone or off of your camera or off of your a memory chip or wh whatever you took those pictures on we're going to want to take a look at them inspect them and see how they turned out so why don't we open up the three pictures that i just took the first one looks really sharp and the second one oh my goodness it's washed out isn't it um looks like i definitely should have had an nd filter in there but i did not so um how's the third one look uh equally as bad but it's pretty pretty washed out up in the sky area isn't it? but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press on and um, for the purpose of this video we're gonna just see how it works with these three they don't have to be perfect um, but there's actually some picture correction that the software does and we'll kind of see how it manages with these three photos okay so let's get the software so open up your browser and head out to the following website okay and I'm gonna make this big for you so you can see what it is but it is hugan.sourceforge.net slash download. Once you head out to that website, you're going to see an orange box here. It says Get Hugan Now. So just click on that link. It'll take you out to a SourceForge download site where you have to wait for this little bar to count down. But once it reaches zero, it should pop up a download site uh, or a download link where you can uh, grab the installation file. It comes down pretty quick. It's only 26 meg. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. And we will start the install. Okay, pretty straightforward. Just kind of needs to uncompress it. You can select English or Swahili or whatever you speak. Um, next, 
I agree. Next, install. Um, pretty straightforward. Next, uh, do we want to run it? Sure, let's run it. So finish, and it's going to go ahead and start up the software. And you are faced with a screen that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the tip. But uh, this is what's really slick about it. It's a simple one, two, three um, steps. So first step is load images. And you have a bunch of uh, tabs up here, uh, but we're going to want to keep it on the Assistant tab for now until we load our images. So let's go ahead and load our images. We're going to select the, uh, what is it here? I need to go to my desktop. I'm going to select our three pictures that we just took, five, six, and seven. I'll pull that in and don't worry about this. I'm just going to go ahead and close. And it's going to pull those in and you can kind of see how it overlaps them in the general place where they you know they need to be. Puts them in the right area but if they're not aligned um, you can definitely see the seams. Um, there is no really blending of the sky. You can see it's kind of way off. And, but um, but don't fear. Okay, so the next button that we need to press is the Align button. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Align button. And depending on the speed of your computer, uh, this may take a while. So now this computer that I'm running it on is pretty pretty fast. It's got a solid state drive and a pretty fast processor, so it doesn't take too long. Um, but there we go. So it's gone ahead and stitched them together. But look what it's done with the picture. It's kind of slanted it off, and it's uh, kind of a little cattywampus, uh, you know, off it's headed to the down and to the right. So how do we fix that? Well, if you look at this one tab up here, it's called Move and Drag. I'm going to go ahead and click on that tab. And then you can play around with these three buttons in the top left, Center, Fit, and Straighten. I'm going to go ahead and click Straighten and see what that does. And sure enough, it kind of straightens it out for me, and that looks much, much better. And so let's go back to the Assistant tab and click on that third button. It says Create Panorama. Okay, so I'm going to click on that, and here's some options that you can play around with. I'm just going to go ahead and keep the defaults and hit OK. And uh, it's asking me now to save the project. So I'll just save the project to my desktop. And I'm going to, this is what, what the uh, name of the final uh, output file is going to be. And then it's going to crunch on some numbers a little bit here while it is stitching all those pictures together. And then when it's done, it deletes the excess, and it's going to leave you with one final file. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. I'll minimize Hugin, and here is the file that it generated right here, and it's called DGI-005 through DGI-007, well, which is nice because it, we know that that kind of matches our pictures 5 through 7. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we'll take a look at it, and look at that. There is our panorama shot. Very nicely stitched together, and you would be hard-pressed to even find those seams. So uh, this is still a 1080p Full HD picture right from uh, the Phantom 3 that I took it from. And I don't think uh, you could look all day and you're not going to be able to find where that stitch was. It was right in this area was one of them. And uh, if we scroll over to the left, I know that there is another stitch right in this area here because here's that one house that we used as a, uh, an object for our overlapping. So it, we know that that stitch is right around in this area somewhere, um, and you just cannot see it. Uh, one thing that you can notice is that there is a slight difference in color in the sky, um, and that's where the software tried to compensate and blend where it was just completely overexposed in like pictures two and three, um, but not so much on the first one. And it kind of did its best to balance it out. You can play with some of the other tools that there are in the software, but uh, it did the best that it could. And uh, I'll tell you what, it is uh, really, really nice. And you can take some amazing pictures uh, just like this. So that's it, folks. And uh, that is how you can generate some amazing panorama uh, pictures. And I um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please like and subscribe and comment below. And uh, tell you what, why don't you shoot me a link or something with uh, some panoramic shots that you have generated. I'd love to see them. All right, take care, all. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.